Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Joe. You already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. I don't have to tell you what time it is, guys. So, guys, I'm doing an updated video real quick on how to create your own Minecraft mod pack. This is super simple. 2021. Stay tuned. Check it out very quick. I'll let you guys know how to do this. Let's hop right into it, guys. All right, guys. So, first things first. I already made a video about this. Go click in the link in the description. That was the old one. I'm doing a quick updated one because it is a lot simpler. And it's going to be a way quicker video. So, first thing you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description. It's going to bring you directly to the new Curse Forge beta. Uh, all you're going to want to do is download for Windows if you have a Windows. Download for Mac if you have a Mac. Next, install it. Once it's installed, you're going to get this logo itself. It's called Curse Forge. What you're going to do is double click it. It's going to launch up on Overwolf. You're going to open it. And guys, this is where you're going to be able to create your own Minecraft mod packs. Now, again, I already did a video on this. So I thought I would make a quick updated video because I noticed I talked way too much in the last one. I, I wanted to make a quick updated vi video for you guys, a quicker version, straight to the point. And here's how it goes. First things first, guys, is once you have this opened, you won't see any of this. You're going to be seeing this. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this Minecraft. It's going to ask you if you want to install it. You're going to click yes. And it's going to install Minecraft. Second, once that's done, okay, you're going to click on this Minecraft. And you won't have any of this, okay? You won't have any of this stuff. Okay, first things first, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to come up here. Okay, you're going to click on Create Custom Profile. Right up here on the top right corner. Once you click on it, it's going to ask you, what do you need? What do you want to name the profile? So, I'm just going to make it YouTube uh, example. All right, so you're going to put in your profile name, okay? From then on, you're going to pick the Minecraft version you want to play. So, of course, you can go with any version you want. The older, the actually, the better because there's more mods. So, let's say 1.12 was like a good era for mods, right? Where all these cool mods came out and stuff like that. And a lot 1.12 was very popular for that. So, I'm just going to select 1.12. What it's going to do is it's automatically going to select the Forge Mod Loader. Now... I do also want to mention, let's say you pick 1.15 or 1.15.2, I think. Okay, so as you guys can see, I clicked on a Minecraft 1.16 and there's no forge for it, okay? So some versions you cannot do. Most of them you can, but some you can't. So we're just going to go with 1.12. As you can see, it gave us a forge 14.21.1, which means there is a, ca a, ca a forge that we're able to get mods with. So let's go ahead. We're going to click create. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to create your own little Minecraft. So, again, guys, you don't even need to make a mod pack, right? What you can simply do, let's say you just want to get one mod and play with that mod. You can do that. You don't need to install a bunch of mods. If you just want one single mod in your Minecraft, you can just add that one single mod. So, for example, let's say you actually have the YouTube. Okay, so this is my mod pack. I just created Minecraft 1.12. You see the version up here, your name and your, your picture. Click on it. Now, what that does is it opens up your folder, basically, your folder, your directory for how to what you want to do with your Minecraft mod pack. So you can actually install resources, resource packs, maps, mods, anything you want. OK, so let's say we say, you know what? I like um, I just want to play Minecraft and do a mod review. So what you're going to do, right, for example, is you're going to go and install mods at the top right hand or the top right here on your right. It's going to say add more content. Click on that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get popped up with a bunch of different mods, guys, like literally any mod you can think of, right? Um, literally any. You can also come up here and search the mod. So let's say you want something to do with um, building. So if you write building, what it's going to do, it's going to show you all the building mods that are available for uh, this specific version of Minecraft. Or let's say you want something to do with mobs. And it will show you every single mob mod that you can add to your Minecraft 1.12. Okay. Also, let's say you want to exit this. You click this little X on top. And then you're going to go back to add more content. And now at this point, you can also sort it. So if you want to sort it by popularity, it's going to show you the most popular mods that people are downloading. You also have latest updated versions of Minecraft. So the latest mods that have been updated. You also have game versions, total downloads, anything. You also have the categories. So what kind of mods do you want? Do you want a food mod, a farming mod, a fabric mod, an energy mod? You guys get what I'm saying here? So it's really, really simple, okay? Once you actually find 
the mod you want okay all you have to do guys is let's say i want journey maps and just not enough items okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna click install on this journey map mod and you're gonna click install on just not enough items and what it does is it automatically installs the mod so if we exit out of here as you guys can see in our mods now we have just not enough items and journey maps now if i also do want to mention this quick if you guys want to add optifine to the specific mod pack what you have to do okay th there's no optifine in the add more content so if you go here and you write optifine there's nothing okay what you actually have to do is go on google write optifine downloads find the optifine version for this minecraft so for example this would be 1.12 once you have downloaded that optifine and you have it for 1.12 or 1.15 whatever version you select you're going to click on these three little dots right here. And what it does, it's going to open your folder. It's going to say open folder. Click on that. And then it's going to show you your mods folder. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to actually drag your Optifine into the mods folder. And that's how you get Optifine. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this mod pack and show you guys that the mods are installed. All you do is you have to click install and they're completely installed and that's it. So I'm going to show you guys what happens after this part. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on play. So... The Minecraft launcher came up. You, it will ask you if you haven't used it before, it'll say log into your Microsoft or Mojang account. So if you don't have a Minecraft or Mojang account, make sure you get one. You're going to have to log in. And then from then on, you're going to, it's going to show you the normal Minecraft launcher, right? Don't get confused because I had a comment with this saying, Hey, I got the Minecraft launcher that launched up. I'm not sure what else I have to do afterwards. All you have to do guys is click play. As you guys can see right here, the YouTube example forge, it's already selected for you. So you don't even have to do anything. Once you click play, it's going to open it, log in, and then click play again. It's going to give you this dialogue box. You're about to play a Minecraft Java edition, blah, blah, blah. You can click, I understand and click play. And then what it's going to do, it's going to prepare the mod pack and it's going to launch it. So I'm going to see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So we are currently in the Minecraft mod pack that we have just launched up. Um, as you guys can see, it's like just normal Minecraft. We're going to go ahead and see if we actually have our mods. Boom. As you guys can see, we have our mods. Just not enough items. And we have the map mod at the top right corner, as you guys can see. So that is simply how you do it, guys. It's really, really simple. It's really, really simple, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really hope this video covered a bit more and it was a shorter video for you guys. Um, I, I saw you guys had a bit more questions than the last one, so I thought I would make a quick updated video for you guys. Just more quicker, more in depth. Here's how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a like, guys. We are almost at 100 subscribers. I kind of not even thank you guys enough. I am so excited right now. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I will see you guys later. I hope this video helped a lot of you guys. I love you guys. Have a good day. Adios.